Hey guys, it's Murph here, coming at you from right around the corner. Today, we're going to be talking about the biggest news revealed at E3 and what it could potentially mean. If you have certain topics you want to get through quickly, I've put timestamps in the description so you can find out what you need ASAP. Now, to start us off, we have the three big boys of the console world, Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony. Now, Sony didn't make an appearance at E3 this year despite having unveiled the PS5, which I'm sure surprised a lot of people. Microsoft and Nintendo, however, did make some massive announcements during their E3 panels. To start, we have Microsoft's Project Scarlet, which is said to be the code name for their upcoming next-gen console, as well as the unveiling of Halo Infinite, which is also said to be released alongside the console. Project Scarlet and Halo Infinite are said to be released sometime next year during a holiday season. Nintendo fans were shocked to hear of a sequel for none other than Zelda Breath of the Wild. Nintendo was planning to release a sequel to the much-loved original, and it said the announcement took the convention by storm. Nintendo was currently working on adding a very large and diverse amount of games to the Switch's library, including, but not limited to, the Zelda spin-off, Cadence of Hyrule, which will probably be out before this video. Other titles include Spyro's Reignited Trilogy, Animal Crossing's New Horizons, and even... Witcher 3 Wild Hunt? Mom. Mom. mom yep, yeah, mom. I, uh, I, 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 need, I need a switch. Yeah, cool. Great. Thanks. On to other related news, Microsoft has announced its online gaming subscription for its massive and impressive 330 game library. The first month comes in at $1 and every other month at 5 I think it's similar to Discord's gaming subscription that comes with Nitro, and that you get all the games for free under the $5 a month plan. And boy, do I have to say that they have some really, really good options out there, including but not limited to Super Hot. Borderlands, Batman the Arkham Knight, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Hollow Knight, Wolfenstein 2 the New Colossus, and Halo, and many, many, many more. In fact, it's got such a wide range of awesome games, I think I'm gonna have to go get it myself after this video comes out. Speaking of subscriptions, Google unveiled even more news about Google Stadia. While it's not set to release until November, Stadia already has a plethora of big games going for it. We have Adventures 8A, Gods and Monsters, Watch Dogs Legion, Borderlands 3, and Baldur's Gate 3, and my favorite of the bunch, Doom Eternal. Now obviously, there will be many, many more titles. On top of announcing these games, we also got a scoop of hardware requirements, as well as pricing and peripherals. Google Vice President Phil Harrison stated that a 10 megabit per second internet speed would be enough for at least 720p by 60fps streaming, as well as a minimum price of $10 a month. However, if your internet speed was fast enough, it would enable 4K and HDR streaming at the same price. Google will also be releasing its Stadia controller, which comes in multiple different colors and is priced at $70. It looks exactly like what you'd expect if you combine an Xbox controller with a PlayStation controller, and if you ask me, it looks pretty sick. And last but not least, here's a list of some of the biggest and most hyped games announced at E3, in no particular order, as well as what we know so far. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is a single player game that focuses on lightsaber combat as you fight against the Empire. It is set after the Empire Strikes Back and has a really good Star Wars atmosphere, at least from the live gameplay trailer that's been officially released. While the gameplay seems rather simple to me, it feels reminiscent of the Spider-Man PS4 games that was released last year, with some awesome action sequences and moves that can really make you feel like a badass. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel now, while I don't have a ton of experience with Zelda games, I have many friends who are excited from this announcement, and while nothing is concrete yet, through my re own research, fans are speculating that the research date is estimated for 2021, and that although Nintendo is known for not only its innovation in consoles, but also in gameplay, it would be strange to change something that to them was clearly not broken. The one thing we know for sure about Halo Infinite is that unlike the other Halo games that were Xbox only, Halo Infinite will actually be coming to PC. On top of this, it is a sequel to Halo 5 and it features Master Chief as the protagonist. Forge mode will be coming and of course there will be multiplayer. Cross-platform play has not been confirmed yet, but we do know it will be released sometime during the holiday season of 2020, alongside Microsoft's Project Scarlet. 
Gods and Monsters is being released by the creators of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, February 25th, 2020. It seems to be very, very heavily based around Greek mythology, with enemies such as Typhoon Giant, Gorgon Cyclops, and even Hydras. The aim of the game? Free the gods who have been entrapped by Typhon. The art style is interesting, as it has a cartoony style, similar, in my opinion at least, to Skylanders, with terrifying sounding creatures coming in adorable and charming packages. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is releasing fairly soon, July 19, 2019, and in terms of gameplay, it's said to be very similar to its predecessors. Ultimate Alliance will offer 4 player co op and be available on the Nintendo Switch. Assemble your 4 man team, whether it be good guys or bad guys, and stop Thanos and the Black Order from assembling the Infinity Gauntlet. Final Fantasy VII Remake and the Final Fantasy VIII Remaster are two of the biggest announcements made at E3. For years, fans have been dying for the rework of both of these fan-favorite games. Final Fantasy VII will include roughly the same story with the same locations and characters, but it's essentially a complete modern re rework of the game, meaning that potentially the only thing that stays similar is the base outline for the story as well as what's already been confirmed. We also know that for the most part, Final Fantasy VIII is getting a fully graphic touch-up, while everything else works the same. Borderlands 3 is planned to release September 13th exclusively for the Epic Game Store until April 2020. The story mode is worth at least 30 hours of gameplay, and much like previous Borderlands games, you get badass points once you've completed the campaign. Except for this time, it's Guardian points, and they can be used in three different categories, Utility, Offense, and Defense, which will increase your stats and or skills, and obviously make your characters more powerful. Borderlands 3 also includes 4 player co-op, and the developers are planning on adding cross-platform play. Graphics seem to be keeping with the cartoony, almost comic book-like art style, and gameplay looks really fun. Might just get this one for my birthday. Now for my favorite game shown at E3, Doom Eternal. I'll probably show glimpses of Doom just walking around giving no shits as he walks around with a stolen gun in a public place to shoot some baddies. Man, do I love the way they betrayed Doom. A silent badass who gets what he wants and quite literally slays Doom. I absolutely loved the gameplay trailer. Semi-realistic graphics with cartoony but epic explosions and dismemberment of demons left and right. I feel like Doom is just one of those games that you play when you really, really, really want to feel like a badass, and I can't wait to play it. It looks really fun. Doom Eternal will be released to Steam, Google Stadia, Xbox One, and PS4 on November 22nd. Anyways, that's all we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then hit that like and subscribe button. We have more news and gameplay coming on the way, so stay tuned, and I will see you all next time. Peace out.